Hi, it's Pastor Smith here to talk to you for a second. Uh, we're doing something different today. I got Mr. Levi Bringle. Levi is our new principal here. And this is a chance for more of you to get to know him, especially those of you who do not have students at the school. So first of all, we want to welcome you, Mr. Bringle. Uh, it's good to have you here. I've enjoyed getting to know you over the last couple of months. And uh, I'm hoping you feel the same way and you're not yeah, sick yeah, of me so already right. or yeah. something like it's that. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's start with this. Tell me about your family. Yeah, I'm, I'm married. I've got two kids, and I've got a third grader and a first grader. They love being around here, and they've uh, adjusted very well, given circumstances, with everything going on. So it's been a lot of fun to adjust to Julian Heights, uh, Frazier, St. John Frazier, and all that fun stuff. So it's been a blessing to be here, where the people are very family-friendly, and have uh, taken us in. So it's been a huge blessing that way. Oh, good, good. Um, Having met your family, and I enjoy them as well. They're very, very good people. So, uh, what brought you into the teaching industry? What What's made you say to yourself, "I think I need to be around kids all day long"? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I think God's put certain people in my life that have guided me in that direction. I've had some really good teachers myself. My parents were very good at kind of encouraging me to do what I wanted to do, and I want I had a passion to. Um, be with the kids and impact the next generation and hopefully God kind of way, a Christian kind of way to kind of have them live out their faith and their lives in the future. And you didn't start off as in a Lutheran school system as a teacher. I mean, no, it's maybe right. taught in Lutheran schools, but you, you started off in a public schools education. Yeah, I went to Saginaw Valley State University in the public school system and um, two weeks before school started in 2009, I got a, a job at a Lutheran school, the school that I went to when I was mm -hmm. a kid, and the rest is history, I guess. Uh, that, it's kind of interesting teaching with teachers who taught you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. we have a teacher who goes through the same thing here. Actually, yeah. two of them. So, yeah, so that's kind of fun. What joys do you find in teaching? I enjoy seeing the kids light up with smiles as they come in the building. Um, when they're learning things, you can kind of see the light pop on. That's really neat, too. And then the scene how they see the world. The kids are so positive, and they see the world in such a positive way, and they, they know they can change the world in a positive way. And I think as you get older, sometimes you miss that. So working with the kids kind of keeps me young in that kind of aspect. The optimism is fun, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Uh, it's kind of, if they conceive of it, it must be true or impossible. Exactly. Yeah, I know. That, that is so much fun. What's your favorite subject to teach to the kids? History. History, okay. Well, you just won my family over, oh, except good. for my wife, because everybody else likes history, and she just kind of shrugs her shoulders at us. So, sure. You know, that, that's a good thing. Um, what, what finally, when you got the call to come here to St. John, what, what kind of brought you here? What, why did you say this is a good move for us, me and my family? Well, that is a very good question, Pastor Smith. <laughs> uh, when, with everything going on, we weren't sure if it was going to be a good move or not, and we prayed a lot. We had a lot of people kind of helping us with those directions and the guidance there. But I think the Holy Spirit just told us that it was time to come to St. John and with the, the family atmosphere and the, the pastors and the teachers and the groups here, we felt like this was a good move for us and our family to kind of hopefully make an impact here at St. John, hopefully like we did at Trinity um, up in Reeves. Mm -hmm. so that's, it's a Holy Spirit thing for sure. Yeah, it's kind of funny how that works, isn't it? Yes. Um, I had told my congregation, the Sunday I got the call, before I got the call, I told my congregation, I'm here to stay, I'm not leaving. And then that afternoon, I got the call to St. John. You know? <laughs> and so God does some strange things along the line. And, and, and you know, you never know what God's going to do. So we rejoice in that. Uh, I guess as we start to wrap this up, because people are going to want to sit here and listen to you and I banter for the next 20 minutes, uh, what else would you like the people who are watching, uh, the congregation members, a lot of school families have met you, but a lot of our, our other members have not. So what would you like to tell them? I'd like to tell them that I think St. John's School and Church are a great unified front in the mission and ministry of Christ, and that the school couldn't do what they did without the congregation's help and, and their support. And I think those prayers and those those gifts really help the school do what they do on a, on a large scale, and we're able to impact kids every single day and get them the word of Jesus, and we get to be that little beacon of light in this very dark place in the world. And I think that's really neat to be able to do. So we, as a school, we thank you guys for allowing us to do what we do, because we enjoy it, we love it, and um, we can see ourselves doing anything else. So I think that's fine. Well, thank you, and I have to say, it is a wonderful thing uh, to have that unity that we do have between church and school. I mean, sometimes there's rubs, but, you know. Yeah. If you're married, you have those good moments, right. and you have moments, you know, that aren't as good. But, you know, that's just the joy we have in this place. So um, so this is a brief introduction to Mr. Levi Bringle, and I'm enthused to have him here. Uh, and I hope you guys get an opportunity to meet him more and more and talk to him and enjoy his family. Uh, they are a wonderful group of people. We thank God for you, Mr. Bringle, and we look forward to your installation on Sunday. So thanks. the Lord be with you.
Thank you.